So hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I will remove the clamps here from the glued up section that I did last time. Uh, the glue's had a lot of time to harden up now and looks good. So the next step in the process then is that I will sew out the part that I need to replace and uh, I'll need to make a new piece to fit in here and see if we can get that fitted. Here's a section that clearly needs to be replaced. You can see how the worms have completely hollowed it out. So it's basically just an empty wooden sponge at the moment. It doesn't really have any strength of its own. I can't really see how far the woodworm damage extends inside the wood, so I'll just try to take out a few pieces and see when I get to the end of it. The camera died on the process of sawing this out, so unfortunately I don't have much video of that. But what I did is just take the angles of the old scarfing joints and I just copied them here and sawed it out. And then I took the bottom out with a coping saw afterwards. I don't know if you can see it very clearly here, but uh, there's still a lot of woodworm damage in this, so I obviously need to keep going further, replace more of the wood. Unfortunately, Sharp saw, just cut my finger. You know, the saying it's not your boat until you've cried for it, lost sleep over it, and bled on it, so I guess I'm getting there on this one. I'm using to repair this damage with is actually from a similar boat, uh, even the same age as this one, that was completely crushed when the boat had, as it was in collapsed. So we just took it to pieces and saved the wood because the planks are still in good condition. So I'll actually replace the wood with wood of similar age and provenance, which I find a bit fun.
doing now is that I'm uh, making some cuts here just as a depth guides for when I'm uh, planing off the material to meet the scarf on the plank that's going in here. It's a lot easier to get the angle correct once I have a depth guide. So I've, I've created a line here that I'm sawing down to and meeting up with the edge of the plank on the inner side of the boat. is really good for this kind of work because it has an edge on only one side so it allows you to follow along and create a nice flat surface while it just cuts on one side.